Ecclesiastes 8 verse 6 for there is a proper time and a procedure for every matter under heaven in other words there's a proper way and time to do everything whatever you've been through you can now say it was last year tell your neighbor I was broke last year the next thing that is important is that expect things to get better for you because they are see life is cyclic you're not what is whatever experience you're having right now it has not come to stay it has come to pass. to pass not to stay just to pass it's just going through the biggest challenge is is to know what's happening this is a part of this thing we call life this too shall pass and maintaining perspective putting it in perspective how do we get stuck a friend of mine working on a job loved the company very much expected to retire there and one day they called him in the office asked him for his badge and identification told him he was fired and he had to leave then he was devastated and if you came anywhere near him he will tell you his story as we all have stories even when he got a job he went on the job telling anybody who would listen how they fired him unjustly and he always ended with it wasn't fair life isn't fair it's not fair that birds eat worms and they do in other words whatever happened in the past separates you from the future that's how good time is i used to be sick that was yesterday health is on the way time separates your past from your present and your future because time protects us from living in a permanent condition you won't be a divorcee all your life time will prove that you won't hurt with grief all your life you won't be sitting around because that man didn't marry you where there's a will there's a way there's another man on the way with a fantastic life with plenty more money than the one you was trying to get time will sort this out you know when you go into a service station to get gas you don't go in there and just start pumping when you push the lever up it clears the previous bill by the same token if you want to begin to move you've got to clear your mind of all the unnecessary luggage and baggage that's weighing us down all of us have experienced some tragedy and if we have it we will sometimes your life will be in a slump and you can either let it destroy your life or you can build upon it. I'm not going to let this destroy You can permit it to let it hold you down or you can decide I'm not going to let that happen to me. I'm bigger than this. I don't care how good you are. I don't care how talented you are. I don't care how much you work on yourself. There are some times when things aren't going to go right. There are times when anything that can happen will happen. Make a declaration to yourself. Declare all out war that you're going to get out of this rut. I suggest to you that if you are facing a challenge, don't stop. Stay busy. Work your plan. Continue to do those things that you know that work for you after you have evaluated yourself in the situation. Sometimes you have to back up and go within and pray and meditate and recharge your batteries. Go away, clear your head, and then come back and look at it from a different vantage point. Nothing is permanent in time. Make a note of this one, please, and this is very important. Time is the only commodity on earth given equally to every human being. We don't possess the same amount of money. We possess the same amount of time. So the key to life is what you become in life is determined how you use the time you have. And that's why we use terms like spending time. Time is a currency. Every human has the same amount every day. And time, like currency, must be spent. Time is used to buy life. So whatever you are, you spend your time buying it. Even if you're broke, you use your time to become broke. You see, time determines everything. If your marriage is under stress, it's because you haven't used your time in your marriage properly. Time is so powerful that whatever you invest your time in, you become. You got one new year about to start. My question is, what you going to do with the next 12 months? What are you going to look like? What are you going to have or not have? There are some people in your life you need to drop. In other words, time gives you time to change relationships. I put it to you, friends, that you can actually treat time just like money. Write this down. You can have time stolen. How many of you sat with people for two hours? When you was finished, you wasn't sure what happened. I mean, two hours of your life gone, and they talked to you, and you gained nothing. 
the older I get, the less time I have to just listen to talk. I don't know about you, but you ain't old enough yet. There's a certain period in your life where you realize, I ain't got time for this. People just kind of wonder in your life, let's talk. Talk about what? Next thing is that you've got to activate the thinker in you. Don't stop. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional, but you want to begin to discipline your emotion. Your mind goes on automatic. You know, weeds don't have to have any encouragement to grow. You don't have to water them. They don't have to get sunshine. They don't have to have fertile ground. They will grow through the cracks of a sidewalk. But if you want to grow orchids or roses, or any kind of exotic flowers, there are special processes and procedures you must go through. Well, by the same token, you don't have to force yourself or motivate yourself to think negatively, to be depressed, to hate somebody, to want revenge, to want to get back at somebody, to beat yourself up over the head, to feel loaded with guilt. You don't have to make any effort to do that. Your mind is on automatic. It will do that by itself. But if you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, if you want to begin to really enjoy a happy, successful, healthy life, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You want it. And you're going to go all out to have it. It's not going to be easy. You've got to make those kind of declarations to yourself. I'm unstoppable. This will not get me down. The challenges of life. Write this down. Time can be what? Abused. Time can also be lost. You can lose it. Just like money.